Hi there, my name is Megan, and I've been living with mysterious chronic health issues since I was a teenager, and I'd always been able to manage with a couple of dips here and there, but about 18 months ago, things uh, came to a head, and I crashed pretty hard. Uh, I went from working a 35-hour week at my dream job, that was pretty mentally challenging, to not being able to hold a conversation for more than three minutes without feeling like I was drowning. And I had to rest for an entire hour in a quiet and dark room before I could even try it again. I now know that those symptoms were due to an illness called ME-CFS, which stands for myalgic encephalomyelitis or chronic fatigue syndrome. When I was starting to develop those symptoms as a teenager, the NIH had an opportunity to learn more about that disease because this disease has been debilitating people since before I was born. But unfortunately, back then they dropped the ball. And recently, NIH had an opportunity to do more for MECFS. And again, they've dropped the ball. 25% of people with MECFS are as sick as I was 18 months ago or sicker and they have been that way for years and years. Somehow I got lucky enough to find a doctor to take me seriously who could help me get back to a place where I can talk to you here now, although I still can't work. And my life is incredibly limited. So I'm making this video here tonight, which I, I normally don't do. I don't post on social media, but I'm here now because it's important to me that the NIH do more for MECFS. Um, I fear that there's a teenager out there right now who is developing the same symptoms, who in 30 years will be making a similar plea, and that's just not acceptable. MECFS can be as debilitating, if not more, than HIV and AIDS, or MS, or heart disease, and yet, yet the amount of funding that it receives from NIH is on par with baldness, which is ridiculous. They're not the same. MECFS needs dedicated funding. We need to know more about what's actually going on and find ME-specific biomarkers, which we don't have yet. And we need more funding for clinical trials and treatment trials. If you're watching this, I would really appreciate it if you would sign a petition put together by an organization called ME Action, which is encouraging the NIH to do more for this illness. And uh, that petition is direct to directed to Dr. Korosech over at the NIH. And so Dr. Korosech, I'll talk to you directly here for a second. What you've proposed for me and for the millions of other patients out there with MECFS is not enough. We need you to do more. Please pay attention to what ME Action is asking of you and do more for us and prevent that teenager out there who's developing mysterious symptoms now from being in the same boat that I'm in. Thanks.